All right, hello internet. I am Eichenmon of Lux and Hemlock, and this is another chapter of the Cosmic Will Sisterhood. We are still in the midst of the campaign. We have 19 cycles left. Uh, we've met some very interesting characters on our journey so far. We got to write some cosmic poetry. Uh, we met with our master and got some powerful, uh, some powerful tools to make a new card, uh, and. Uh, help some refugees uh, that were coming from another coven uh, out of the kindness of our heart um, we're still we still don't really have a large enough lead to know for sure if we're going to win but it's looking pretty promising right now if you can look at the score that doesn't mean things won't change we're only halfway through uh, but we're steadily making our way and trying to get the resources to continue improving our deck so let's see what happens in this chapter. <laughs> Very good. We've all we've got a pretty good amount to make another card. Um let's have them Let's promote our program. We're going to promote to Warriors. I think we've pretty much determined that Warriors are not going to help us. It's, it pretty much is the vast majority of Dahlia's voting block, though. If we can even sway a few of them, it would go a long way. an angle from. Some decks ago there was this revolt called the Nightmare Uprising that had to be quenched by the Arbiters. Apparently a group of witches started to tame daemons and use them to control several mortal communities. They did so by using the daemons to infiltrate people's nightmares and alter their minds. Increase in cults started to get out of control both on Earth and on the Deer Folk worlds. Using the power from power harvested from all the worship, the daemon tamers got bold and tried to control the Arbitage office using those very same nightmare incursions. They didn't succeed, of course, but the conflict lasted a couple of years until every single tamer was hunted down. In fact, many of them serve as Arbiters today. Anyway, you're probably wondering how Dahlia fits into all this. Well, guess who it was who armed that small coven to begin with? Our very own Dahlia crafted the daemon taming daggers. And while there's nothing illegal about crafting daggers for witches outside our own coven, one could say it was irresponsible to grant them the armament that ultimately led to the Nightmare Uprising. In any case, even though the Arbitage Office investigation declared Dahlia absolved of any responsibility, the role she played in that uprising isn't something most witches are aware of. Just bringing it up may have some of our sisters questioning Dahlia's judgment, and to have that kind of debate in the air will surely weaken her support. But I doubt that Dahlia will be happy about anyone airing that issue. Yeah, I don't feel good about that either. Uh, let's look for allies again. Okay, thank you. Alright, we've got some more meetings with more witches. Uh, I've been waiting on this one for a long time, so we're going to do this one now. Um, the Censura Witch. I got to talk with one of your partners recently, and they told me we could probably help each other. I don't have any other clear political leanings, but maybe there's a way to use my powers to make life better for all of our sisters during these trying times. I don't know. Let me know when it's a good time for me to visit. Cool. We've not met this witch yet. It's a cowboy witch! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Alright. Hi! Hi, welcome. This place is so cool. Thanks. I wouldn't mind being imprisoned here. Eh. Oh, shit. I'm so sorry. Right off the bat, my big mouth ruining everything. Uh, it's alright. It's my personal curse, always making things awkward. Really, don't worry. I'm awkward in my own way, too. Uh, okay. But let me tell you, you wouldn't like spending 200 years here. I'm so sick of these walls. Oh, I know. Let me make up for it. Oh, she has sensory powers. Better? Where did everything go? Don't worry, everything's still in its place. I just altered our senses. Whoa, I love this. I wish I could do this. Would have made being exiled so much easier to bear. 
Uh, funny you mention that, because I came to see you precisely to discuss my talents. What's the matter? Well, sensorial magic makes a great party trick, but beyond that, I feel pretty useless. Shut up! Sensorial magic is super cool! Yeah, but cool doesn't earn you much respect in this community. And I understand why. I mean, I can't affect reality in any way. After several centuries, I've come to terms with it, really, but... From time to time, imposter syndrome kicks in. What? Is that a thing witches can feel? Like, I mean, you're a witch. You're immortal, and you fly across outer space. There's no doubt about you being a witch. Yeah, but you know what I mean. I'm a one-trick pony, and that trick isn't really going to have any impact on the cosmos, literally. I don't see it like that, but I can't possibly understand. You're the one who's been struggling with this for centuries. No need to pity me, though. I mean, I have a pretty good life, magical frustrations aside. Oh, not at all. From my perspective, your powers are incredible. Thank you. What about you? How do you feel about your powers? You're an oracle, right? I'm pretty comfortable with them. Oh yeah? Yeah, I mean, I was into divination even before I ascended. It's second nature to me. That's so cool. I wish I could feel so in sync with my talents. Actually, I came to see you about that. I've heard wonders about your new deck, so I wanted to ask you to help me find a way to make myself useful. Uh, let me warn her about the risks first. Hmm. I should warn you about the risks first. Oh, what risks? Tell her the whole truth. I just recently discovered that I'm not exactly a soothsayer. I'm a writer. I determine fate through my cards. What does that mean? I can alter reality, both past and future. You would be basically granting me access to rewrite your existence. Oh. Wow. That means I can totally help you find help find you a higher purpose for your sensory arts. But you must be aware that it's not exactly divination. Hmm. I'll pass then. Oh. It's too much. Thanks for warning me beforehand. Hmm. Is the Coven aware of the nature of your talents? Not yet. I'm still learning about them myself. Why? Nothing. Just curious. Uh-oh. Anyway, I should be leaving now. I'm sure you must be real busy with the race. I'm sorry I wasn't able to help you in the end. Don't worry. It was really nice meeting you. And good luck with everything. So I don't think that went the way we would have liked. I think that's going to be a problem, actually. Okay, I have something worrying to report. Cupressa's been shamelessly parading Adina's corpse around to gather support. It may be because they got back way too far, but for some reason the corpse complies with everything Cupressa says. This is giving our sisters reason to believe in Cupressa's plan of keeping Adina as some sort of mystic guide. We need to do something. Your throne is made of mirrors. A butterfly stands gently on your nose. You read on swings how to achieve everlasting peace. Feel our sisters anew to truly mend our hearts. Wow. You're a cosmic poet now? That collaboration with Renegmer is making every novice crazy. And it's inspiring sisters in every demographic, really. Really? I'm so happy. Great job, Fortuna. And remember, feel our sisters anew to truly mend our hearts. <laughs> Did you welcome the Jade Sculptor's refugee into our coven? Yeah. It's a bit complicated in the middle of a race, Fortuna. Based on the coven rules, they have the right to vote, and they're voting for us, of course. But this didn't sit well with the rest of the coven. But I told them there were no need to vote for us. Come on, you can't be that naive. Of course they're going to vote for us. They owe you. Yeah, but no buts. Our sisters have the right to be pissed. I'm sorry. Ah. Okay, let's rebuild from here. Okay. Novices weren't happy that we're trying to discredit Dahlia's referendum idea. But for the rest of the witches, especially the academics, we raised some valid concerns. Didn't change much that time. Okay. We want to challenge an opponent. Let's go for Capressa, specifically. Adana's corpse. Alright. We could make a new card. 
I haven't really gotten like a very useful new tool for it, but we could do it. I think I want to wait. To the tension of which Fortuna, it's the moment of truth. Let's confirm whether our paths align or diverge. Oh no. So you didn't only choose the wrong side, you went as far as to found your own party just to make the same mistake. Good day to you too. I'm going to do everything in my power to stop you. Whoa, coming on strong. You came all this way just to declare war? Yes. Super. To begin with, you can forget about getting any votes from the academics, and then I'll start working on the other factions. Oh lord, she's one of the oldest, and she's very powerful, and our deck doesn't work on her. I don't really want to resort to blackmail, but we do know her secrets. Can't we reach some kind of compromise? No. See you in Congress. Oh, Lord. I don't want to blackmail people. I know it's stupid in a political race, but... Uh, I was so nervous talking with the warriors. They're super intimidating. But as it happens, they're also super nice. They are very loyal to Dahlia, so I don't know if I managed to make a dent in their plans. But, well, it was a learning experience nonetheless. What about you? I found someone interesting. I subtly induced the idea that she should pay you a visit. Her name is Woon, Witch of Entropy and Decay. Like you and Adina, she's one of the Oracle Witches in the Coven. She's able to read the entropy in any system, no matter where, whether it's a machine, a community, a building, an astral body, or even an idea. Basically, Woon can discern what actions will accelerate or prevent the decay of just about anything. Maybe she can help us find the weak spot in our opponent's strategies. Okay, cool. Uh, let's have you go... Look for some people. I want you to go harvest me some more energy. I think... I think this is really going to come down to the knife's edge, but we'll see. I don't I don't think it was a wise idea to not use the blackmail material on Rushia. Fortuna, wake up. Are you all right? Open your eyes. Don't leave us, please. Oh. Final chapter, reality check. Oh no. Fortuna, Fortuna talked to us. What happened? What were you thinking walking in the ocean like that? I drowned? Were you trying to kill yourself? What's all this about becoming a witch? Back off a bit, Patrice. She's probably going through some kind of crisis. It's all right, Fortuna, we're here with you. Everything's all right. You're safe. We're, we're your friends. Seriously? What the fuck is going on? You're still in shock. We'll take you home, make you a warm drink, and talk this through, okay? Don't do this to me, Fortuna, all right? Okay? What? What is happening? This can't be real. This is like a trick. What's going on? I think this is the sensory witch. We should get back to the asteroid, Patrice. What? Oh no, she's lost it forever, Eva. Deep breaths, everyone. Did I travel back in time? Oh, come on. No, sweetheart, you haven't traveled back in time. Where do you think you've come from? Outer space, centuries into the future. Ah, how's that possible? I'm a witch. 
Stop it. Don't enable her fantasies, Eva. It's not fantasy. You're a witch, too. Wake up, Patrice. You're a cosmic cartographer. Oh, no. For the love of God, what are you saying, Fortuna? Okay, let's not panic. This will pass. It's just some kind of stress-related crisis. I believe we'll be able to better help her if we ask her about her predicament. Sure there must be some truth hidden in the witch fantasy. Are you sure? It's worth a shot. Okay, you take the lead. This is too much for me. Okay. Mm. Fortuna, can you tell us more about your witch coven from outer space? Sure. We are about a hundred witches. Our coven is one of the most respected in the magic community. Just recently our leader died and we were in the process of electing a new one. Okay. Tell me more about these elections. I'm running for leader. Oh, that's very cool. And what are your plans for the coven? I think this is the sensory witch, guys. I think she's tricking us. Someone's using their powers against us. To undo the damage our last leader caused. Oh, wow. You must hate that person, right? Uh this is getting weird. Oh, why do you say that? I'm just trying to help you. Fortuna. Yes, I knew it. I knew this had to be a trick. Wake up. They're messing with you. Fortuna. I'm here. I'm here. What happened? I found your eyes rolled back, mumbling to yourself. I was trapped in some kind of illusion. Someone tried to make me believe I'm not a witch, that it was all a delusion from before I ascended. Oh shit, they kept asking about the political race. Did you disclose any sensitive information? I kind of told them I was planning on doing everything Idina did. Oh, well, it's bold, but perfectly legit, I'd say. I guess so. Very well. Crisis avoided. I'll get back to doing my thing. Stay strong, we're almost at the finish line. Ugh, oh, that was unfortunate. Alright, let's see how that affects the polls here. I have a worrisome report. Jasmine's party has been campaigning, warning our sisters about the dangers of the Forbidden Arts, rebelling catastrophic events of the past involving behemoths and time-bending spells. Many witches are reconsidering their stance on the Forbidden Arts policy. We shouldn't let her scare tactics spiral out of control. I understand the meeting with Juresha didn't go well, right? Juresha is pulling her strings and convincing many academics to support Jasmine. We need to stop her. Let's get to work. Yeah, yeah, we need to. I challenge the proposal of keeping Adina's corpse for guidance. Surprisingly, there are some academics and oracles that are interested in the idea. But almost everyone is fed up enough with Adina to want to get rid of her one way or the other. Good job, good job. Wow, Dahlia's... Really lost some speed here. Jasmine, specifically. Okay, we need to we need to deal with that. Oh God. Who is this now? See, I don't know if I want to click on this one. Who knows what this is? What is this? Oh, who are you? Welcome. Oh, we can't speak their language. Oh, this is Woon. Wait, I don't understand you. Uh, I think in this situation, we want to use Adina's knowledge to translate it. Nemesis and mentor, this, your eye, once studied every tongue. Grant me access to my sister's words. Well, did it work? 
Yes. I can understand you perfectly fine now. It worries me that you don't know the tongue of the nebula. It is the only way to access true knowledge and power. Ah, uh, yes, it's extremely hard for human witches to master, but it's a skill I want to acquire eventually. Very well. Or was I? Oh, yes. I have the power to destroy your party. What? Alright, here we go. I don't know if you are familiar with my arts. I have the ability to sabotage anything. There's a path to decay in everything, be it a planet, a community, or an idea. I can read those lines and steer anything in that direction. And what's the purpose of coming to say all of this to my face? A test. The best prospect for our coven is to have a powerful oracle at the helm. It's why you are my favorite candidate. Good to know. You have a funny way of showing support, though. I need to ascertain that you have what it takes to lead. What do you propose? I am going to offer you the opportunity to sabotage your rival's efforts. I have already studied them and know how to suffocate their momentum. Just say the word and they are done. But should you reject my offer, I will go to your rivals and offer this very same deal to them. Oh, nice. Okay. Don't answer me yet. This is a test, after all. So I want you to take your time and ponder how you will act in this scenario. So let's see if I've understood you. You are threatening to destroy us if we don't choose to destroy our opponents. It's a bit more nuanced than that. Your rivals may reject the offer too. Do you trust your sisters to play as fair as you will? I see. So do you get off on this kind of stuff, or what's the deal with you? Give it some thought. I am not bluffing. I need to try transforming our coven to access if it can stand the test of entropy. Hmm. Take your time. Summon me when you are ready to make a choice. Do not choose, and I will make the choice for you. Oh, Lord. Oh, God. Uh... We could make another card. I was kind of hoping we would get some new materials for a stronger card. Well, let me see. our deck right now. Let's go see what we could make. There's still one that I didn't use, which is the Penitent, but... Well, I mean, if you're going to have one... I think it needs a lot of red energy, though.
This will be an odd card. A little, getting a little creative here. <laughs> okay, that's kind of a cool card, right? It's not too bad. I like it. I like it. It's kind of interesting. Guide, discovery, deception, the unknown, temptation, rejuvenation, bad omen. Okay. It's a pretty cool card. I like that one. Let's see how we're doing. How, what do I tell? I couldn't find anything. Sure. Um. We need academics. <sighs> Ponder this. I offer you the possibility of sabotage one of your rivals, but should you reject my offer, I will go to your rivals and offer the very same deal to them. Do you trust your sisters to play as fair as you will? Let me know when you reach a decision. I feel like if we're really a sisterhood, no one should take this duty. Hello, Oracle. Do you have an answer? Yes, I'm ready. Very well. What do you want? Who do you want me to sell? Sabotage. No one. This might mean that we lose. I don't know. I understand. And how do you feel about passing on the opportunity to ensure your victory? Proud. 
That's a shame. I don't believe that you are fit to become the leader of our coven. What? Didn't you say this was a test? Didn't I just take the high road and act honorably? Exactly. You forward the opportunity to get ahead of your rivals. You are unfit to rule. That's not fair. The cosmos is as fair as a black hole. You can only hope now that your sisters are as naive as you are. And I sincerely hope not, or I'll be forced to leave this obviously decaying coven. A sisterhood with the values you uphold is no sisterhood at all. Being unable to perceive entropy is what makes you an idealist, a widespread disease among human witches. But idealists are for those who are well-fed and taken care of. The wheel should always be steered by someone who's able to perceive the cosmos for what it is. Time to disprove you, I guess. I wish I've had a chance to, like... use my cards on her. Okay, I didn't see this one coming. Dahlia and all the warriors just went on some sort of parade around the sisterhood. It was more of a party than anything informative, but the energy was incredibly powerful. You know how it is with Dahlia. She's just too good at pumping everyone up. But we can come back from this. Oh my god. Charisma is a temporary illusion. We can fight it with well-laid ideas and who am I kidding? We need to be more charismatic at any cost. Let's do our best, alright? <sighs> I'm back. Perfect blow attacking the point for Ben Nards. Both Capricia and Jasmine lost support from their voters. Academics, explorers, and oracles are interested in making the Forbidden Arts more accessible. On the other hand, the idea is a bit scared for novices and producers are definitely too fond of stability. that's going to help us. This is really stressful. Um, <laughs> I guess there's not much we can do but wait. I mean, we could make another card, but I don't have any particularly good ideas for one. So I think we just have to wait for something to happen. I really hope that one decision from from the decaying witch doesn't doesn't cost us the whole election. I don't know how specific this can all get. <clears throat> you were reading a book while watching your mother sew some cool patches on your sister's jacket. When she's done, she shows you the jacket, and all the patches have eyes that blink, looking at you. It's pretty ominous. Uh, well, there's only eight days left, and we're sorely behind. We really would need someone to come at this point. We've read this book a couple times, just kind of... I guess maybe the game has multiple endings, I don't know. Um... The Cosmic Wheel. You dream you live inside a giant bear that you can control with your thoughts. 
When you are hungry, you ravage small towns and collect some of the meat and veggies you pour through the bear's throat. You don't feel any remorse at all, and the food tastes delicious. I'm sorry, I didn't manage to get any academics to sit down with me. Oh no. Uh, promote our program. To... Oh, there's only seven days left, and we are really not doing great. Really not doing great. We kind of just have to wait it out. I don't... It seems like the odds are stacked pretty high against us right now. Something dramatic would have to happen. You're digging your own grave when your shovel hits something hard. You unearth a bronze statue of yourself. The statue comes to life and you agree to switch places. I've seen this one before. Yeah, like these days should be filled up with opportunities and we're not getting them. I think we're in trouble. I think we tried to be a little bit too altruistic. I mean, in the end, it doesn't really matter, but we did try. I mean, it matters if you're trying to get a specific kind of ending, I guess. Good news. I found someone interesting. Here we go. Name is Manaka. Head of Explorers. Okay, that's a good one. It's not a real position in the Coven. It's an honorific title she got from the rest of the Explorers, which may be even more important than an official designation. More often than not, Manaka roams the outer edges of the known universe, mapping every star and planet. She even developed a shape-shifting orrery that keeps track of any changes to astral body that the Coven has charted in real time. Just recently, Manaka came back to the Coven because of the elections. Get her on her side, we can easily win the confidence of every explorer, witch in the coven. That is so good, thank you. I need to send you out on another mission though. Look for allies. I tried to play this too nice, guys. I tried to play it too nice. There's so little time left. Five cycles left, and that other witch. I'm most worried about that witch of entropy, Wound. You're flying a plane made of seashells and colorful feathers. You land inside a frozen volcano and pick some rocks to install on your ship and make it fly faster. And you race against the wind spirits and can't stop laughing. All right, here's an opportunity. Hopefully, she has good news. Capress has been moving. I don't know if she's calling in some favors or what, but the old guard has suddenly decided to support her. We should do something about it. Bad news regarding Jasmine. Apparently, she's been funding a group of academics to research what I'd, what it really entail for our powers if we all devoured Adana. And wow, oh wow. I mean, if I wasn't on your team, I'd probably vote for her now. But we mustn't give up. Most witches don't care much about mortals. The novices, though, there were a lot of them that are still in touch with their mortal past, and they want to be able to interact with society. God, that did not help us. This is changing so quickly.
I we need some help. We need some serious help right now. Uh oh. Okay, Sister Fortuna, my name is Minaka. I'm one of the explorer which is our coven. I mean with members of every party who assess the best prospect for projects, to produce with this cosmos and of course the well being of all sisters. Look forward to meeting you. Yes, please. We really need some help. I wonder how many witches I haven't even met. Oh, I met every witch! I just got the achievement. <laughs> I met all the witches. That's cool. Hello, Fortuna. So nice to meet you. Likewise. It's an honor to meet with a head of explorers. Ugh, I'm no head of anything, dear. The rest of the explorers like to call me that, but it's just an affectionate way of calling me old. I know many witches hold you in great esteem, not only explorers. Well, I mentored a lot of them. I understand the daughterly love. There's no such thing as a head, leader, or chief of explorers. In any case, I'm sure you have a lot of pull among them. I won't deny that. My word carries more weight than I'd like, but that's not something I sought out. I never brandished that love as a tool for command. Anyway, enough about me. I've always wanted to meet you. Did you know I was planning on paying you a visit right before you were exiled? Oh yeah? At that time, we were looking for an oracle to help us design a plan to travel inside a black hole. Oh, whoa. I would have loved to be a part of that. Well, unfortunately, that project was cancelled after we lost a young explorer to the black hole. The oracle that was helping us at the time told me she wasn't dead, but transported to a different era, and that we'd probably never see her again. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe with you on our side, it would have gone differently. We'll never know, I guess. Look at me. Talking about myself again, I'm so sorry. Let's focus on the present, or would you have me telling war stories until the end of the race? <laughs> it's quite alright. So you're visiting every candidate. How's that going so far? Keeps me getting keeps getting harder and harder. I'm not just visiting the candidates, but also their advisors and other team members. And I just love you all too much. The future is going to be bright, no matter who wins. I, it's, I agree. It's a pity we have to compete to begin with. I know. Must be hard on you. Jasmine and Dahlia are pretty close, right? My true family, I'd say. I hope this race makes you even closer after the dust settles. Yeah, me too. I wish I could have enjoyed some quiet time with my loved ones before getting thrown back into which society this hard. We rarely choose our struggles. Why don't you stay out of it if the race is this hard on you? I should have, shouldn't I? But I guess I do care about the fate of this coven. That's why I have to make sure it's our program we move forward with. Ah, the clash of friendship and conviction. So tell me, is there a way to count on your support? <laughs> so blunt. That's a good sign. It's not that there's something specific you can do to get my vote, but yours is the only party with an oracle in it. I'm curious about that. If it's not rude to ask, I would like to experience your divination. Specifically, how it may benefit the everlasting task of charting this universe. What did you have in mind? A simple request. Tell me about somewhere I haven't been. Not so simple, considering you're famous for having been everywhere. Everywhere known, at least. I guess there's no harm in writing up a place for Minaka to find. Should I overdo it and impress her, or should I stick to her request? Hmm. Eh, let's totally overdo it. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? We're already losing. Haha, <laughs> it's not a challenge, my dear. Um, well, you're right. It is a challenge. Fair enough. You know, Manaka, it'd be a huge honor to count on your support. So I'm not only going to tell you about a place you haven't been. I'm going to tell you about what you'll find there. Oh, bold. Okay, I'm starting to get excited. Hold tight to that excitement while I shuffle my deck. And connect with what you felt the first time you visited an uncharted place. Ooh. Zen. I've not actually pulled this one yet. I think Zen would be a cool discovery. In this new place, you will find an undiscovered mineral that will be coveted by many witch smiths. You will find an anomalous star the size of an apple, but it will hold as much power as the sun. 
You will meet with telepathic octopus made of dark matter. It will teach you to forgive yourself. Oh, wow. Forgive yourself. Oh, then we'll join a band of golden dolphins to dance around the rainbow. Oh, I thought we were getting creative. No, this will really happen. That can't be real. You more than anyone should know that the cosmos is full of surprises. You're completely serious. Yes. Now I'm curious and a bit scared. Okay, where do I need to go then? Oh. This is an interesting answer for this one. Travel a light year below my house, and you'll discover a planet where atmosphere is immune to light. Trace the light between the two largest stars of our galaxy, and you will find an undiscovered moon that lost its planet half a million years ago. Between the two largest stars of our galaxy, and you'll find an undiscovered moon that lost its planet half a million years ago. Are you sure? Our galaxy is pretty well mapped. I mean, yeah, there's the chance we've overlooked a wandering moon, but I am 100% sure that you will find it. Very well. I'll bet on your divination. What you just did is something else. I'm leading immediately to explore. Can't wait to hear back from you. You can bet you will. Thank you so much for indulging me. Good news. Some good news. I was super afraid of meeting with the producers, but they're welcome with open arms. I'm a future producer after all. They were super interested in my peppermancy. They tried to seduce me towards Jasmine's side, but I stayed strong. I even managed to get some of them to sympathize for our program. Oh, and the producers are quite interested in the community service thing, by the way. No dice. I didn't manage to find any more opportunities for us. Afraid this is it. Let's focus our efforts on other fronts. Uh, I guess go harvest some energy. I don't think we're gonna win. Well, we had a good run. We could make one more card. I guess we might as well. I better save it. You never know if we'll have to spend it on something. And I'm I like where our deck is at currently. The last cycle. Walking your pet lizard through a maze made of uneven rocks. From time to time, the lizard disappears beneath the rocks and comes out with surreal insects, a rainbow mantis with twelve eyes, an obsidian beetle with the face of a moa statue, a caterpillar with a spiraling markings running with quicksilver. At the end of the maze, you find a cauldron and make soup with the bugs. Okay, this is our last chance. If she found what we told her she would find, maybe she will support us. I found it! It was there. You are the real deal. Let me know when I can visit. Oh, you are the real deal. You must forgive me for all my condensation. There it was, timidly spinning, alone in the void, and some other planet left. Too small and insignificant to be charted or named, but a new place nonetheless. I called it Fortuna in your honor. I was about to leave to claim my, our discovery, and the most alien words sprouted my mind, but they weren't my thoughts. Impossible to witness without witch eyes, and without losing some of your sanity, there it was. An octopus made of dark matter, projecting thoughts into my mind. Spoke the tongue of the nebula, and its words were like fractal poems. You were right. It managed to soothe my inner daemons. I thanked the creature and left. Wow. I wish I could have gone with you. You are incredible, Fortuna. I have never witnessed such a display of power. 
Thank you. I've worked with other oracles in the past to aid in our expedition, but this... This is something else. See, centuries ago, I built a special orrery that continually sweeps our charted space and mutates to depict any changes in our universe. Down to the precision of an asteroid, your cute little house does indeed appear there. So what the evidence points towards so far is either that the orrery is malfunctioning, or that the place you sent me didn't exist before our meeting. Are we sure that what you're doing is divination? Your instincts are right. I discovered recently that what I do with my cards is not divination. I'm bending reality. Oh my, the implications of that. Yes, I've been mulling them over and over. The question now is, should I fear or follow someone like you? Neither. We can just be friends. Well, of course, if that's what you want. I can't help but fear there's something more to all of this. There's an animal instinct in me yelling that it wouldn't be wise to go against you. But you would never act against your sisters, right? It's unlikely, yes. And this must be a primal reaction to having encountered a power so far beyond my expectations. I'd like to further test these capabilities of yours, if you don't mind. I'm going to have to start charging you, Menaka. <laughs> this time it's something pretty straightforward. Do you know what this is? Yes. It's what was left of Art Witch Kadamia when her coven scattered her remains. This contraption has been around in our coven for a long time, and in all those millennia, there's been little progress with solving its mystery. Oh, I'm impressed. Not many are aware of the existence of Kadamia's artifact. And you would like me to open it as a test? Oh, no, that would be an unfair demand. We've been stumped by it for ages now. I'd like to find a clue as to what it is using your divination. Very well, let's take a look at it. I'm going to ask my deck to put you on the path that'll untangle this mystery. Yes, please. Let's take a look at this artifact's future. And the countless hours you've spent studying it. Same card. Pretty good one, though. The artifact can only be opened by the reincarnation of Archwitch Kadamia. She still hasn't been born, but you will recognize her once you meet her. Only a behemoth can open it. You'll need to form a pact with one of them to discover what's what's magic, what's inside the artifact. You will require the aid of the highest ranking arbiter. She has classified information that allow you to finally unlock Kadamia's artifact. Ooh, I like the idea of of this one, the Bahamoth. Only a Bahamoth can open it. You'll need to form a pact with one of them to discover what's inside the artifact. Oh no, forbidden magic. Conven pretty convenient that your party plans to extend permits to across the forbidden arts, huh? Oh, I wasn't thinking about that. It's just a coincidence. Absolutely, my dear. It works for me. And having experienced your talents firsthand, this must be it. Finally, some progress in Kadamia's mystery. Thank you so much, Fortuna. You surpassed every expectation I had. Even more than that, you made me fall in love with immortality again. For meeting you, I was disillusioned with this cosmos already. I felt like I had seen it all. And you tore through all that like a supernova, not only showing me new places, but magic beyond my comprehension. I'm so happy to hear that. You have my full support. I'll vouch for you in front of our sisters. I'm looking forward to the future of this coven with you at the helm. See you in Congress. Good luck with the race. All right, that's everything. All right, time's up. We did everything we could. Right now, we may not be the favorite in the polls, but this isn't over until election day. The whole campaign has just been to prepare for the final assembly. Until the votes have been cast, we have a fighting chance. In a couple of days, the whole sisterhood will get together at the House of Cosmic Providence. There, every party will get to debate our coven's future. 
Not only that, but every sister also has the right to speak and will be able to express their hopes and concerns. Pretty much anything can happen there. Have you ever been to the House of Cosmic Providence? Uh, I've only seen it from outside, and it's pretty intimidating. Been inside for some dealings, but never for an official assembly of the Sisterhood. I'm nervous too. The thing is that inside's main hall, time holds still, so the debate can go on for hours, days, or years if necessary. Oh no. The rule is that no vote shall be cast until every sister has had a chance to say their piece. Then, after everything's said and done, we will all vote, and the House of Cosmic Providence will release its hold on time so fate can unfold normally. We've come this far, so we might as well do the whole dance. Campaigning is now banned until the assembly, so take some time off, enjoy a bubble bath, or whatever it is you do to blow off steam. For me, it's going to be wine and sex fairies. <laughs> Patrice, again, too much information. Shut up. Congratulations on getting to the finish line. Let's meet at the doors of the House of Cosmic Providence in a couple of days. Alright. And I think this is where we're going to end the chapter. Seems like a perfect place for it. So, uh, we had a hard campaign. Uh, it seemed like we were doing really well for a minute there, but we lost a lot of steam and we made a lot of enemies. Um, so we'll see how how the election goes in the next chapter. <laughs> Bye, guys.